Uh, a lot of space physics work varying anywhere from the ground, uh, where you use magnetometer observations to look at the magnetic fields, all the way out into space, where we look at magnetic fields and plasmas in space. Um, the ground magnetometer data, we're looking at both the north and south pole uh, conjugate data to see if we see uh, reflected uh, signals in both the north and the south, which we don't always see. From being here the first time, uh, the ice is very similar. You have these nice ice flows that you see both in the north and the south. Uh, but up here we've seen a lot of vegetation and down in the Antarctica we saw no vegetation at all. Up here you can smell the vegetation, you can smell the water collecting in, in the ditches. There's nothing to smell in Antarctica at all. There's really just fuel from the plains you might be able to smell. Uh, it's always windy down there. Um, down there we saw 24 hours of the sun but I was only there in their summer. And now up here we saw 24 hours of sun pretty much, except for that dusk uh, around midnight. Uh, but otherwise, uh, it, they're similar in the sense of temperature and wind, and, but not similar in the sense of smells and vegetation. It's neat to see this uh, kind of marshy landscape with uh, no trees, uh, the snow on the hillsides. Uh, I saw some of similar landscapes in, in Canada, but there you had a lot more trees, and here there's, there's just no trees to, to look at. Um, but it's very nice, it's very beautiful. Apparently it'll be very green in a few weeks. And uh, the, the ice cascading down from the ice sheet was really spectacular into those little, little lakes we saw. Originally, I probably would blame my parents. They made me look at or watch all the Apollo landings when I was young, uh, the shuttle, I saw the first shuttle take off and, and many of the other shuttle launches. And so I was interested in space from the, the beginning. Uh, I thought about going into astronomy, but eventually, uh, settled on space physics because it's, it's very much here. I mean, the, the aurora is only 100 kilometers up, and so you're very close to it, you can almost touch it. Whereas astronomy, you're looking at stars that are very, very far away, and that's more difficult to, to comprehend for, for me. You need to sit down and, and work hard and, and study, understand what you're studying, uh, be able to apply it to whatever you can, even if that's everyday life. Um, I don't think you need to be a super genius to do this field, just hard work and understand what you're doing. Uh, for me, some of the best things are the travel. Uh, I, I don't know how I would have ever gotten to Antarctica, except with a big job where you make lots of money and take a cruise ship. Uh, Greenland, it's difficult to get here. Uh, I've gotten to see Canada, Switzerland, Sweden, uh, Germany, France, Britain. Uh, New Zealand, Mexico, uh, all these places that people want to go to and see and I've done it all because of work and I hope to see many more.